you for holding that, Francis. Is that for the tea? Yeah. Oh. Hey guys, how are you? It's Annabelle, my sister. Hello, it's Lilith. So we're very happy to be working with Glasses USA for this video. Hence why we're getting cozy, our glasses, makeup, and outfit. My sister is 2020, but um, I've actually had pretty bad vision since maybe middle school. And I've been wearing glasses as necessity up until probably my sophomore year of college where I finally swapped over to contact. Yeah, basically I don't need them, but I have always been wearing them for accessory as well as lenses that filter out harmful blue lights that give me migraines. As many already know, it's an online retailer. There's a huge selection of glasses and sunglasses on there. And when you take your pick, you can virtually try them on by putting your own photo up, which is what we did. So you can kind of tell how the frame will look on your face before you receive them. So here, as you see, I'm on the site and you can put in your own photo, which is what I did for all of the frames and the sunglasses as well. Keep in mind there are many things you can do to customize, obviously prescriptions. Mine don't have prescriptions because they're used for accessory and definitely options for you to explore when browsing the site. And when you're on there, definitely use this link and it's also below for you. But even if you don't like it, they have free shipping and free returns. So there's no worry whether or not they fit you best. Uh, uh. Thank you. The first one I picked is Blaze. It's a very retro look. I like that it's very, very light on my face. The beans also help rust on my nose without making that big indent. And then this pair is very similar. It's the same color metal and it's also very light. It just doesn't have any frames on the bottom and it's called Lincoln. I kind of went for simple this time. So it looks very typical with my, yeah. It's cute. Wow, it's so cute. So the first pair I chose is brown. Um, it is completely frameless and the only metal parts is the nose ridge and this the side. My mom has a lot of old photos of her from university and like I think this was like a big thing. So same with that one. Wait, she literally wore glasses like that. Yeah. The second one is Muse. It's a totally different style because I wanted diversity. It's transparent and pink. Um, it's very cutesy and bubbly and happy looking in my opinion. And I think it's great for days where my eyes are extra puffy and tired. The glasses is kind of just what you see yeah, just exactly. there. <laughs> it's great for covering dark circles and swollen eyes from not sleeping. And then on top of that, I picked out a pair of sunglasses. It's these Ray-Bans. I have been, I don't know, wanting forever because all the lenses I wear are like this. And yeah, oh, it's definitely so one I want to try them. This shape of lens is just always what's been suiting me. It's not quite circle, kind of ovular, so ovular is not a word, is it? It's I not think it sounds like a word. Circles don't look good on my face. I'm not into any of those very trendy styles. So Sunglasses these, are so hard to pick because it's like, if something's a little bit off, then you just don't like it. I think it goes with every outfit, is the main thing. Yeah. I'm ready. And then now we just parte. No, I just want makeup and parte. I like my brows with no arch. If my brows are very arched, then my eyes look extra droopy. Because I don't have that sinking in bone. So it doesn't make sense. Sinking in bone. My brow bone, I think even more than yours. It's really big, it protrudes, it doesn't sink in. Don't finish one eyebrow before the other eyebrow. It's always best to fill them slowly if you wear glasses. Because what? Because if you don't like it, then your thing's screwed. It's good to like do them like simultaneously rather than like have one look perfectly complete. And then putting a glass and be like, oh, wait, like... It's harder to match if you do that, right? So your brow is done on, on that side. On the side with no makeup, so it's just one brow. I'm not a big fan of powder foundation, so I actually just use CC cream most of the time anyway. And I don't even touch my nose because I have combination skin, so my T-zone is really sensitive. If my glasses are sitting on my ridge and it's sliding back and forth, it's gonna irritate me and it was, it's, it's gonna make me want to touch my face with my hands which is like the biggest problem I have. I just learned just to not even put makeup here for when I'm wearing glasses and I treat my oily skin through skincare rather than through various makeup products. Yeah, I don't really go near my nose area as much either. I'm pretty self-conscious about the dark circles and these little spots on my nose. So normally concealer always goes here very thick but then when you have glasses on, you can't notice it as much. Really, I'm just not gonna draw any attention to my eyes since the frames really take care of that. 
So aside from the powder, I'm gonna put on some highlighter that really brightens up your face. Well, no shit, but really. Are we too far from the camera to show them like what we're doing on our faces? Can you see me? Ooh, I have this glow. That's enough for today. What blush do you use? Mm. I use the Japanese one from the drugstore. Oh, the can, can, make, can I borrow your? Can I use yours? Mine's not in the room. I'm also gonna skip lip liner. I'm just gonna go straight to this. I never do this right now because I'm a baby. So I start um, at the top where people usually would put highlight. Highlighter. Yeah. And then I blend down. I feel like my cheeks are kind of washed out. I don't know if it's. Sometimes I actually put it here. It doesn't smudge or anything, which is great, but. If I want to really go for that, I don't know what it's called. It's like that Japanese, it's, they call it the drunk look. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're just hot messes today. Yeah, literally I'm, I'm done. <laughs> so it was like five minutes. Yeah. I'm good to go. It's not supposed to be complicated. We took so long too because we're talking and then we're like being distracted. My tea has been brewing for 20 minutes. Can I handle this? This is why you put cream in there. Oh, I see all of it at the bottom. So I'm avoiding it right now. What are you talking about? Oh. You can stir it up. But I stir it, I get all bitter. I actually really like the frameless look. I usually think like like when I was little I thought it was super like really stupid, but I'm into it. And then for the outfit today, this is very, very basic. A crop sweater and my mom jeans that I thrift. I don't really have so much variety right now in my wardrobe. It shrunk. It did? Oh yeah, yeah, it should be below the knee. I'm like 5'4 and a quarter. But I always feel like I'm too tall because the clothes I like to wear, a lot of the dresses they sell in Taiwan and Beijing, when I try them on, they go above the knee. And it's just like that little bit of proportion change just throws everything off and then I get really tight. If you don't want them to shrink, just don't dry them in a the dryer. Hang dry. Like, what is this made of? Like, you tell me. Oh, just those? Yeah. Wool and viscose. I don't know what viscose is. Viscose is like interchangeable for like rayon, a regenerated cellulosic fiber. And I think it does shrink because rayon shrinks. Well, since we're here together, we might as well just talk about or answer some questions that we see very often. Okay, first of all, am I adopted? Am I adopted? Wait, are you adopted? No. People ask that? that. You didn't see that? No. <laughs> Mainly because we don't look like each other, I understand. Someone thought we have a stepdad because our dad died. <laughs> I understand why some people were thinking that the situations I talk about sometimes in the art project I did and things like that, they said, oh no, her grandpa's not dead. She made that up because we see the grandpa on the vlog. But that's my mom's father. Maternal. And then I have my father's father, who is no longer with us. Most people know by now that I don't like fruit. I do eat apples and bananas, like very basic things and grapes. But the reason why, and I don't even know if you know the reason why I hate fruit. I developed a version, especially in preschool, because we lived in China in that time. I remember this. And the academic... Just everything is very different there. She was like, if you don't eat this tangerine, I'm gonna expel you. And I was three, so I was like terrified. So from then, I just remember like I had to eat and like the pulp and stuff. I just like hated it. It didn't taste so bad, but just the whole experience of being forced after that, oh I just God. don't like it anymore. You wanted to read, have your space, and I just wanted to play. Also because I was so energetic too. And then mom being so busy because she had to get a degree again when she immigrated here and then was single she mom. She was still in school. And then went straight into that job that was really, really busy. So I just felt like I was very lonely for a big portion of my childhood, but still like nowhere near as lonely as a single child would be because we still played together so much. Do you remember Romeo's top model? <laughs> we did everything together. The contestants were... Stuff a animal. bunch of like shaggy stuff animals from like various different like thrift or like convenience stores or like CVS. I don't even know. Do you remember who won? It was Maggie. I don't know who Maggie is. Wait, she was a little gingerbread dog. Okay, I remember. <laughs> hey mom. I miss you. 
can, can, I, can I please show them? Like, I, I just take a tip in. Okay, fine. Okay. We're just chilling for a brief moment when Lilith is out getting fits. It's Gerald. I did a lot of research before I made the decision to reach out to a breeder because Annabelle is pretty strict with me just because I'm quite impulsive. I wanted to make sure that if this were to happen... It's like a commitment. It's not like a spontaneous, fun thing. Yeah, and because we are dealing with a life, it's important that they yeah. get proper treatment and care. So that's, and that's that. number one priority. So we're going to end the video here now. Thanks for hanging out with us and Fit. Definitely going to have a fun introduction video for him that you'll see very soon. And for now, I hope that you have a great rest of your day or night. Thank you again for hanging out. Thank you. Bye. See you soon. Bye bye. And just so you know, I always link everything in the description for you, so go check out the links for the glasses if you're interested, and the site link also leads you to any deals or offers. Ha! Thank this you for watching. <laughs> ha! This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Here are more. This was a quite an unusual project of ours, but all, frankly, we kind of enjoyed being lazy and staying in. Why are you still here? It's over. It's never over, honey. Not for you and me, anyway.